Hey guys, it's me, Solsis, uh, from Solsis Productions. Uh, I was browsing the MT forums and I noticed that uh, there is really, if not so many detailed videos, uh, which are usually like voice commentary on how to use the stage resource, which is a very handy tool that you can use for San Andreas Machinimas. Yeah, and it really helps you in the video productions because you don't need to. It actually contains all the features you will need to make a video from animating pets to um, animating vehicles to uh, controlling the environment and as well as the camera settings and special effects included. Uh, well, it, it's, this is really all combined with the very limitless MTS San Andreas multi taft auto stuff that you. Uh, or that's it being able to be scripted because MTA is very wide and broad when it comes to that. Anyway, um, I'm gonna post up a couple of videos that will explain some of the basics and hopefully some more detailed features on that uh, in more detail. And these will be things such as how to animate pets, how to animate vehicles, how to uh, use the camera and how to add different resources and stuff. So basically I want to get over something very simple first which is uh, NPCs. NPCs is a really really simple thing to do. Uh, basically you gotta go to press F2 and first you gotta be logged in and you press type press login to your time and directory which is the default password. You can also change that in the resource but I'm not gonna show you how to do that. Uh, then pressing F2 will, will open that menu. You can switch to director mode pressing uh, F6 and it will be the camera thing too immediately. Um, this is also really easy for multiplayer but I'm not going to really focus on multiplayer stuff because I obviously never use this for multiplayer. I just make it for personal video making. So you gotta go to F2. Uh, I mean yeah. So basically if this side we want to have an NPC say some Grove Street guy. Uh, we'll just get this guy and we'll get an animation for a gang walk. Uh, dealer idol. I don't even know where the fucking walk animation is. Maybe there's a walk animation here. I don't know. Okay, whatever, I don't give a shit. I'll just get some random fucking animation. It's not about what I'm doing here, it's about the fact that you guys can see how to do it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so if we basically use this animation, what we gotta do is press the plus sign next to backspace. Uh, it will see press 0 to 9 key for save current animation. Bad English. Now we press 1. Or two, because for one dumb reason, it doesn't want to work. Uh, basically, what that, what that does is, uh, if I press it without pressing shift, it will loop the animation, meaning it will be done over and over. And if I use shift while pressing the hotkey that I want to specify for that animation, it will uh, do that animation once, and then it'll stop. Uh, so I press F2, and I'm doing anything now, and it will animate like that. Well, if I did is and uh, actually I press S again is and I press shift and two and it says path walk in one single. I'll do F two and I'll stop, see? It'll freeze me. Which is really not useful for walking animations anyway. Uh, what you could also see was the fact that if I press the minus button, uh, it'll stop the animation, it'll reset my animation. So if I want to be doing this, uh, I just did it the wrong way. Oh, loops. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, before you start recording your pack, make sure that you do all the animations after starting the recording because it will not record that you being in an animation. Say if I do this and I press record. Say stop. Uh, which also shows the features. I press play here, which there's hotkeys for. It'll just move because it didn't. I didn't start the animation. Clear scene to remove everything on the scene. It's a whole white button so be careful with that. Uh, 
I'm gonna start recording now by pressing O. Uh, press F2 and do the animation. And I did minus now, and it'll just be that. And I press zero again. I'll recording stop 22 frames and zero fire points. I do play. See, and it'll animate. Uh, a useful thing, however, is if you get a movement quality settings, you can change the quality of movement. Very detailed here. I personally, when I use not a lot of NPCs in one scene, I use maximum. Uh, it uses it this individually for each recording you do, so you can get several NPCs to have high detailed animations, and you can also have, uh, like say, the way it says here as well, uh, the background pets, which are really shitty. It doesn't, nobody, there's no focus there. Somebody's gonna look at how they move, it doesn't matter. Uh, you don't have to pay so much attention to, as you do to having the main characters. Anyway, I just, will talk about this on maximum, and I press accept, and I will record again. Press F2. I'll stop, stop the recording, and I press B to play. And it'll start playing. See, playback finished. Uh, you can see a counter in the right bottom corner, uh, which you can also hide using, no, oh, oops, show timer, and press F4 to hide it. Uh, I personally suggest using something like Fraps, uh, which I'm also currently using now to record it and then further edit it in Sony Vegas or what I personally use, Adobe After Effects. Uh, I guess that's all to, uh, Pets, uh, however, I can show you what you can do with pets. It's really nice. I can basically say clear scene and kind of have them walk up to each other and then daps or something. G. Oh, this is a ghetto drive by. Uh, you can find a list of all the animations and what they do on the MTA forums. Saving the current animation. I'll stop and record, pressing O, and I do two, and it'll start walking at each other. Yeah, I'll just do that. So when they stop and I change skins, it'll save the skin that you currently have enabled. You can change it later. Uh, however, you can save uh, your recording. You can also load new map files or resources too, but I'll cover that in the vehicles. It's very important too. Um, okay, just record and play. I'll just walk at each other. Uh, I don't know how far this is gonna work because I'm not putting effort in this. And I'll press press play and then I'm starting walking towards another. See, and he stops. Yeah, I should have gotten them closer. Doesn't matter. Just see that way you can animate pets and. Uh, later on, I will cover how to do everything with camera. So, any examples? Just check out my thank uh, my channel uh, for professional machine.